Christian had worked with you with a couple of his other clients and he was like, babes, you've got to work with her. She's amazing. She's oh. one of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, she's everything and her makeup's flawless. Oh, so, he's amazing. So Kate, what are we going to do today? I think we should do really beautiful, fresh, glowing skin. Mm -hmm. The base that we're going to start off with, mm -hmm. I'm loving this Armani one, which is great because it's not too oily. So I always test things on my hand. If you take a tiny bit of that and just rub it onto your hand. So you buff that in, and this is gonna give you like a gorgeous glow all over the skin. I always start off on the cheekbone, the highest points of the face, and then I kind of buff it everywhere. So I just like to kind of use the brush and press it into the skin. So we were talking about having the glowy skin, but we want it to last. My, my like, trick of what I do is I do mix foundations quite a bit. And I know it's kind of annoying for people when they go out and they have to buy two foundations, but it really works. This one has a built-in powder, and this one is more like glowy and illuminating. But I find when I mix them together, I do it all the time for the red carpet and they last really well. So with this brush, I just like to kind of buff on the foundation into the areas that need it more, and then blend with the beauty blender. Okay, before we go into concealer, I just mm -hmm. want to give you some hydration for your lips to prep okay. them. This is the Hourglass Lip Oil. This is another product I'm like, I can never be without now. I have this in my car and I spend like, I'm at the traffic lights just going like this for ages it's and ages. It's ridiculously it satisfying. so good. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to mix some concealers. So we have mixed our concealer. And we're gonna just go in and use a small amount. The concealer, you need to be careful with. You just wanna put a small amount on and then you're just patting with the beauty blender. And that's kind of just like pressing in. And in the inner corners here is a nice little tip as well because that can really brighten up the eyes. So we're gonna set your foundation with this powder. Okay. Have you tried this powder? No, I this haven't This is Hourglass tried. as well. I've always liked using powder because I know that it keeps your makeup on. I don't like using powder like halfway through the day. I like to set my foundation with powder mm -hmm. and then like 20 minutes later, the natural oils come into your skin and you look glowy again, mm -hmm. you know, but your makeup is gonna last. Because your brows are beautiful, again, I'm not gonna like carve out a whole new brow. I'm following the direction of the way the hair is growing. Mm -hmm. And then if this was just like a little magic wand, I'm just adding what I would like to think is extra hair, you know? So filling in any of the gaps. So what I have been doing, if I, I've been using these, this on the eyes, the gold on the eyes. Mm -hmm. This one here I absolutely love on the cheekbones and it's quite warm for the cheekbones as well. Mm -hmm. So all over the eyes, onto the cheekbones, I always do a little bit on the bridge of the nose, mm -hmm. onto the, a little bit onto the cupid's bow on the lip. I tend to do that just lightly with my finger. So now we're going to do some contouring. So this brush is going to pick up a bit more product obviously. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna go and contour under the cheekbone. What I like about this is it's not super bronzy. So you can kind of carve out the features of the face and then you can add a little bronzer afterwards. So this is the time where I go, I have to use this then. So this is the Dewy Skin Mist from Tatcha. You know I'm obsessed with this. You're obsessed with this product. I do use it a lot. Just you're concentrating here and here. So, and it does get other places obviously. Okay, now we're gonna go with the gold for the eyes. So like, you can take just a small amount. You're gonna use your fingers? Yeah. I do like eyeshadows with my finger, I have to say. So this is the highlighter that we've put on, but a little tip what you can do is take a small amount onto your fingertip mm -hmm. and just use it as an eyeshadow and concentrate more on the ball of the eye. You mean like the center of the eye? Yeah. Is that not what it's called, the ball of the eye? <laughs> I don't think it's called the ball of the eye. It is, the eyeball. <laughs> well, maybe not. Who knows? It's another Kateism. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to use a little eyeliner. But I think just run this through your lashes at the top. You don't need any at the bottom today. And then I got my lashes Enough. on, so we don't need to do any mascara. Your lashes look amazing. Thank you. Good for me. They're so fun to have on. And then one of my favorite tricks with eyeliner is, yeah. is what you did, which is when you bring it right down here. I into love the, it in there. Yeah. 
Because I feel like that really opens up the eye yeah. and, and makes your eye look even bigger. Yeah, and that kind of myth of like only taking your eyeliner halfway through, halfway across the eye. Well, there's days for that too. I like it when you bring it here and you just do it out and you flick it. But you don't. And that gives you more of a feline eye. Yeah, I, I'm always more on the matte side when it comes to doing a lift, but or else like a kind of hydrated glossy lip, you know. Mm -hmm. But when it's lipsticky, I prefer that it's in the matte. But these textures are incredible. Look at that. So I like to pat it in first. But this color is gorgeous. This is a perfect color for you. 